Hi there. My name is Mark Jordan, and I'm a technical trainer with SAS. Today I'd like to talk to you about reformatting, relabeling, and fixing the length on variables in existing tables. It's a task that's plagued me in my work, and I'm sure it's bugged you too. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about how to do most of that using Proc SQL. Renaming of columns doesn't work in Proc SQL, so we'll use Proc datasets for that. And then of course, because we're macros, programmers, we're going to make a macro out of that to make our lives easier in the future. You'll have access to all of the code that I use in this demonstration uh, if you look in the links underneath this video. So let's get to work. First we'll address uh, the resizing of the data. Now I have a pretty big data set out here uh, in my SAS library called customer div. And if we look at the properties on that thing, we're going to see that um, this isn't no small thing to sneeze at. It's about 90,000 records. Not enormous, but big enough to make an impact. We're going to steal a few observations from that into the work library and uh, test our theories on how to make things work using the uh, small sample that we generate here. So once we have the uh, sample data over in the work library, let's take a quick look with PROC SQL and see um, what are the current uh, column lengths? And I'm going to do another quick query here using the max on the length function to find out for that particular uh, column, customer name, what's the actually longest value. We can see that the customer name column has 240 character length, but the largest actual value in there is only 26 characters long. Um, I imagine that we have similar disparities in the customer address and city name columns here. We might want to take a, a round turn on that and shorten those up a little bit. Now, PROC SQL supports the alter table statement. And the alter table statement with a modified clause can change the length of the variable value. Now I could uh, I could write the uh, take this result value here 26 say okay that's the maximum length I need and I could of course copy and paste it into my code right here and uh, and set the length to 26 by hand. But I'm not uh, not big into copying and pasting in my code. So the first thing we're going to do is let's macroize that a little bit uh, using the PROC SQL's into clause uh, to create the macro variable from that value rather than I having to test it myself. But we'll test that theory. We'll run the same query using the no print feature because I really don't need to look at the um, uh, printed result. I just want the value in a macro variable and I'll print the macro variable value in the log. You can see that uh, the macro variable value holds length in it. That's good for me. I'm going to move right along then. I'm going to run that code, take the macro variable, substitute it in here for the customer name column length, and then we're going to do a quick check on the dictionary to make sure that the column length has been changed from the original uh, 300 down to 26. As you can see in the results, um, we have successfully changed the length of the customer name variable to the maximum value for any particular real value in there. So that's good. That will help make that data set a lot smaller. Now, rerunning this code over and over and over again uh, for every character variable in a data set is not an appealing task for me. And uh, I am a macro programmer, right? So I've actually written a macro that does this for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and steal that macro from my uh, macro stash on GitHub, save it in a folder here on my uh, machine, and then execute the macro to do the work that we want to do. So in order to use my custom macros, I'll set the auto call path to include 
uh, the macro folders here in my in my demo and then um, I can get a quick list of the repo files that are out there in the SAS repo and here you can see a list of all the stuff that's out there uh, for this particular uh, code we're going to use um, the char call length macro and then that sets an individual macro, uh, variable length now we're going to use the char call lengths macro to iterate that over and over and over again to do all of the variables in a particular data set so i'm going to download these macros from github directly right here uh, into that macro path that you've seen there and then once the file is downloaded I can use it as an auto call macro in my SAS session. Okay, now the macros I write all are self documenting. That means if you call the macro with a parameter, uh, question mark parameter, it will write syntax help in the log. And here I can see um, how to use those macros. The one I'm really going to want is this charcoal lengths macro that I just have to give it a data set name and it will uh, fix basically all the character uh, lengths of the data set. So here I'm going to do a quick proc SQL to show us the current sizes of all the variables in that customer dim. And then I'm going to run charcoal lengths on that and then uh, we'll check again and make sure that it, it got them all shrunk down. To their smallest values. Let's go ahead and run that. Ooh, that's really nice. So it took um, all of those ones that were big, including this postal code one, right? And it shrunk them all down to the size that will meet the, the biggest actual value stored in there. That should make that data set a lot smaller in storage. Well, what about renaming columns and changing formats and changing labels and those types of things, right? Now we can, we can change formats and labels using proc SQL, but you can't change the name of a column. So I'm gonna use proc datasets, which gives us the ability to do all of that, including the name changes that we use. So let's move on and uh, get to the business of reformatting, renaming, and changing labels in our data. Let's take a quick peek at the test data that we'll be using uh, for this particular run. We can see this is similar to the data that we had before. We've got uh, different column types. We've got some different formats in here. And I'm looking at my data and I'm thinking, I'm really tired of typing first underscore purchase underscore date and last underscore purchase underscore date and so on. I think I might like to change the names of some of these to make them easier to type when I do my code. In addition, I'm not real fond of this format. I like to see the year and then the month and the day all in numbers separated from the time. Uh, I know of a format that can do that. Uh, this is that format. Uh, in SAS, right? So the E8601DT format will do what I want. So I want to change the format of these dates to be um, that format. I can do all this with PROC datasets. PROC datasets, when you fire it up, you have to tell it what library you're working with. So we're going to work with the data in the work library for right now. And when you start PROC datasets, it gives you a, a whole lot of information about the the tables that I'm not interested in seeing right now. So I'm just going to ask for no list and no details as we fire it up. The work we'll do is done with a modify statement. So we start with a modify and we give it the name of the data set or table that we want to work with, right? And then we can use these three statements under a modify group here in order to change uh, the table customer name. So the first we're going to look at is rename, and I can rename 
first underscore purchase underscore date as first, last underscore purchase underscore date as last. Now that I've changed those variable names and they're a little short, maybe I want to add a label that gives a better description of what's in there, so I can do that. And finally, I don't like the format of those dates, and so I can change the format to the format that pleases me more. I'm going to go ahead and rerun the um, report after I've made my changes so that we can have a look at what the data looks like now. Alrighty, we can see that those horrible long names have been changed to something much shorter and easier to use. The formats have been changed on the variables of interest. And down here, when we write the report out, I can see that the dates are formatted the way I want to see them now instead of the other, and that our labels that give a good description of what that data column is, first and last, um, are in place and working just fine. Now, once again, that's all well and good if you remember all that PROC uh, data sets syntax and uh, if you want to write that code yourself. Um, I'm kind of a, a macro programmer. We've said this before. I like macros. And so, once again, I have a macro called rename column that'll give us a chance to do that in a particular data set. Uh, rename, apply formats, and um, apply labels. And there's another macro I have that I use a lot. It's been particularly useful when you get data in from somewhere else and they maybe have custom formats attached and you don't have access to the formats. You just like to get rid of them, right? So I have one called uh, Remove Metadata that basically allows you to uh, remove labels or formats or in formats from a data set if that's what you'd like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and download those down real quick and then we'll have a look at what the uh, syntax help has to say for each one of those and how to use them. I can see that in the in the log I have the help for the rename column allows me I have to specify data set name and then I can specify one or more of these optional parameters rename label or format and it has a specific way to write how you want to rename a variable old name new name how you apply a label and basically how oh, you got the columns what i really like is that there's these uh, examples in there that give us straight up uh, how to how to do it here's one for renaming two columns here's one for relabeling two columns instead of renaming them and uh, here's one for applying formats just formats right and then the remove metadata one also has a data set name and then some options whether you want to remove uh, all formats, in formats, and labels, which is the default behavior, or whether you want to just do formats, in formats, or labels, you can pick how many that you like. Okay, now that I have the macros, I can just do the work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reset the data to the original form so we can see what it looks like, and just so that you'll be sure that I don't have anything up my sleeve, I'll go ahead and um, run that report again so that we can have a peek at, at the data. And we can see that we have all the yucky old names back and the formats that I didn't like, and that the report looks the way it used to, the way I didn't like it looking. So instead of writing that um, proc dataset step myself, I could just use the rename column macro. I give it the name of the data set I want, I give it the, the rename. I'm going to rename that birth date one too to say birthday. I like that better. Um, I'm adding the labels uh, to the data that I want. And then I'm putting the format on all of the dates this time. I'll just rerun. I'll run the macro on that data set. And then we'll rerun the, the report to see what it looks like now. And voila. Notice that the variables that I wanted renamed got renamed, that uh, the labels that I wanted in place have been put in place, and all of the formats for my date variables are now all the same. All that done with one call to that macro. All right. 
But what if uh, I just don't like the, the formats at all, right? And finally, we'll take a look at the macro that quickly strips away all of the metadata from a, a data set, leaving no formats, labels, or informats in place. So in my code, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit customer dim one more time with the remove metadata macro. And we'll take a quick look after that at what the data set looks like after we get finished with it. And here you can see that no more formats are applied. And when we print out our report this time, those birthdays and first and last dates are all without labels. And they all are formatted uh, using scientific notation because date time values in SAS are really big numbers. All right. So we've shown you um, all the individual pieces. Now, we had originally a very large data set that we wanted to do this to. And so a quick recap here. Uh, a before look at our giant data set to see what it looks like. This is the uh, sas.customerdim data set, which had the almost 90,000 uh, rows of data in it. And you can see it looks very much like the original data set that we were playing with in work. Uh, that's because we copied a few rows from there. I'm going to go ahead and apply the column lengths and rename column macros to that data set. And uh, ta-da. That actually wasn't horrible, right? You can see that the dates have been formatted properly, the, day, the values of the variables have changed, the labels have been properly applied, um, and in the log, that uh, whole thing took, um, well, let's see. It took a few seconds. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed playing around with SAS and learning how to change the size of your character columns, uh, modify formats, modify labels, modify informats uh, using ProcSQL and Proc datasets, and the macros that made that whole process easier for us all. For more info and for access to the code that uh, you saw during this uh, demo, Take a look at the links below and don't forget to comment with any questions that you have. And you can subscribe to the SAS Users channel for more tips just like this. I hope to see you here again. May the SAS be with you.